Hello Year 4s, welcome back. We are carrying on our work with biographies today. So the previous lesson we were looking at the features of a biography and we went through creating our own toolkits about what was needed to write a biography and then we should have also had a look at our own definition of what a biography is. So today we are going to be looking at collecting information for a biography and putting it together into a biographical paragraph. Remember, a biography is an account of someone's life that is written by somebody else. To write a good biography, you will need to take notes about the person you are writing about. This means you will have to interview the person and have them answer questions for you. Now, before you say to me, I have no one to interview, I'm stuck at home, we are going to be interviewing either an adult that's in your house with you, or if you have your adult's permission, hopefully we can phone somebody else, possibly a grandparent or a family friend, and you can interview them over the phone. I'm going to share with you some interview questions that you can use. These will help you to build up your knowledge and your information about the person that you've decided on. And then you can use this information to write your bio biographies. So pause the video now and have a look at the questions. You can also write them down on a piece of paper so that you have them for yourselves. So I have uh, interviewed my brother, so he has answered all those questions that we've just seen and I'm going to go through them with you and then I'm going to show you how we turn that information into some paragraphs. Using the information that we have collected, that you've just seen in the previous slide, I'm going to show you how we change the first introductory paragraph using the information you've collected into something to start a biography. It is important to remember the features of a biography that we went through previously. We have front adverbials, headings, subheadings, pronouns, third person writing, facts. It's in chronological order and of course it is full of dates and events. So reading over our introductory paragraph, who was John Logie Bird? John Logie Bird was born on the 14th of August 1888 in Helensburgh, Scotland. He was known as the inventor of the world's first working television system and the world's first fully electronic colour television tube. Now, looking at this paragraph, we're going to use the information that we collected and turn it into an introductory paragraph that tells me when the person was born and what he is known for. So if we look at my first paragraph, I've changed it to who was Matthew Dobson, because that's who I'm writing about. That's my heading. And I've used my nouns and my pronouns. So I've said Matthew Grayson Dobson was born on the 16th of December, 1986 in Peter Maritzburg, South Africa. He was a well-known professional rugby player and played rugby all around the world. So I've also made use of the pronoun he, and I've used some dates that are important. We move on to the first uh, subheading, early life. Baird's parents were John Baird and Jesse Morrison English, and he was the youngest of four children. He was educated at the wonderful Larchfield Academy before attending West of Scotland Technical College and then the prestigious University of Glasgow. His studies, however, were interrupted by the First World War and he never finished. 
Again, using the information that I've collected, I have a subheading of early life. I've used, and it says, Matthew's parents were David and Gillian Dobson, and he was the oldest out of two. He was educated at the prestigious St. Charles College before attending the University of Stellenbosch in Cape Town. It was there that his dream of becoming a professional rugby player came true. As you can see from the writing, I've started with a subheading telling you what's going to be in that paragraph. I've used my nouns and my pronouns. So I've said Matthew, I've said he, I've said his, and it's written in the third person. So it's someone telling the story. It is also in chronological order from when he was born, what school he went to, then what university he went to. You will have seen in the paragraphs that I wrote that I've written them using a lot of the features that we have looked at that go into a biography. So I used my headings, I've used my subheadings, I've written it in chronological order, I've written it using pronouns and nouns, it's written in the third person and it's full of facts and information. So my challenge to you today is to go and gather that information from somebody and then I would like you to turn it into an introduction and an early life paragraph about the person you have researched. You can go back and use the toolkits that you've made previously to guide you and remind you of what goes into your bio biography and remembering how to structure it. Please share with us what you've written, your paragraphs. Make sure you upload them to Tapestry or onto the Facebook page or onto Instagram. Again, we would love to see all the work that you have been doing at home.